Now, if you are a keen viewer of our channel, you would know that we are complete suckers for project cars. Our founder, CEO and all around big daddy of uh, the Drivers Hub drives a stage 2 Laura. Uh, the, our head of photography is preparing his Abbas to become a stage 2 car. And the only thing that I'm left with is stage 2 jealousy. So, to get back at them, I've travelled all the way to Surat to drive none other than the maddest Polo project car in India. This is Nick Trans Motorsports all-wheel drive 2-litre TSI swapped Volkswagen Polo. A brainchild of Mr. Nikunj Vag, this monster of a build took over a year of constant work and without a doubt, this is India's fastest Polo. Heck, this might even be India's fastest Volkswagen. With an a 2 liter TSI that pushes a spine-shattering 400 bhp and 530 Nm of torque. Now when this thing passes by, you're definitely not going to miss it with its flared arches to accommodate for its wider track and its uh, air intake popping out of its hood like a little snot out of your nose. It definitely makes sure that you know that there is no sort of 1 litre puny plebeian uh, milk carton inside. There is actually what is inside this wolf in sheep's clothing is a very clever ruse. This is as close as you can get as a 2-litre Golf R engine in India. Well, actually, this thing produces 100 more horsepower than a stock Golf R. And why I'm comparing it to the Golf R is because of its Holdex all-wheel drive. The gearbox has been upgraded to a 6-speed DQ250 and a Holdex all-wheel drive system now powers the rear wheels too. The turbo is now a massive 50mm stage 3 turbo from APR, so is the upgraded air intake. The downpipe is a custom race spec free flow downpipe which is mated to a Magnaflow exhaust system. A turbo smart blow off valve to let all the pressure off the turbo when necessary. The ignition coils are now from an Audi R8 for a fatter spark inside the block. The intercooler is now upgraded to a race spec intercooler from Forge Motorsports. The brakes are upgraded to 345mm discs at the front and 320mm discs at the rear. And the car is now sprung over K-Sports fully adjustable suspension. Sounds like quite the spec list, doesn't it? And oh yeah, Nick Trans is saying that it is possible to push out more power with a more aggressive tune. Now in the interior, the inside has also gone on a diet. So you get uh, bucket seats instead of those super adjustable heavy comfort seats. You get these really low bucket seats which put my eye line straight over the steering wheel which is which makes me feel like a race car driver to be honest. And if you haven't noticed, we don't have rear doors. They've been removed and all of the windows behind have been uh, replaced with plexiglass. So the weight shedding has been done. I'm pretty sure you guys know what this means. Now behind the wheel of the all-wheel drive Polo, as you can see it's quite a racket inside, uh, there is no sound deadening and it is stiff. So what we are doing right now is we are taking it for a little spin to see how it is to drive as a normal car. Uh, it definitely isn't a normal car and it definitely feels like a four-wheel drive car. Pushing it a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you definitely feel the propulsion from the rear and you do not lose grip anywhere. Traction control is not even needed in this car. The amount of mechanical grip available is uncanny. And just because it's 1050 kgs, this thing feels amazing, amazing in the corners. Super flat, very agile. 
and telepathic in the steering wheel. And that turbo, once it hooks and spins, bro, you are in for the experience of your life. I feel like I'm strapped onto a rocket. It just pulls and spools and spools. I'm in love with this car. Check this. Oh! What you can't comprehend while you're in this car is the pure savagery. I have driven my fair share of fast cars like BMW M8s and a few Porsche 911s, but the sensation of speed in this thing is second to none. Because it is so compact and it weighs basically nothing, the acceleration is something that bends your mind. The turbo spool is like creating a tornado under the hood and that's how loud it gets. The engine note is like a screaming banshee. The whole experience is something that is totally unexpected and then you get out and your mind can't comprehend that all of this performance is coming out of something shaped like a polo. Now to give you guys more insight on this wild build, we interviewed the man behind the project and tried to find out how the hell did he come up with this idea. Actually, in uh, 2013, I uh, started a workshop in Surat. It was a multi-car workshop. And all the customers had the suspension of the premium car. They didn't do all the normal car, Japanese car, they did the German segment only. So, I mean, uh, suspension works. Engine overall, I mean, all of that we have started. Then the auto transmission ka failure started slowly, slowly. I started the DK 200 gearbox se start kiya maine transmission. Ka. So DK 200 we have done R&D, then we have done the solution. We have upgraded it. I mean, the failure was a lot, so then we have done the problem. I mean, those who were having the problem in the workshop, we have solved the problem in DK 200. Ka, फिर स्पेशलिटी हमने ट्रांसमिशन में कर दिया कि ऑटो ट्रांसमिशन तो उसका धीरे-धीरे हम लोगों ने आगे बढ़े तो अभी सब पीडीके ट्रांसमिशन पोर्स फरारी मैग्नेटी मेरेली सब ट्रांसमिशन हम लोग ओवरऑल करते मेरे पास 1.8 लीटर के लिए काफी सारे ऑप्शन हैं पोलो के लिए 1.8 लीटर इंजन 160 बीएचपी तू 400 बीएचपी तक मेरे पास अलग-अलग-अलग-अलग प्ल कोई कस्टमर को मैनुअल गियरबॉक्स चाहिए, किसी को DQ250 चाहिए, किसी को DQ200 गियरबॉक्स चाहिए, सबके अलग-अलग चॉइस है। For 1.8 लीटर DQ200 गियरबॉक्स, 6.5 लाख, two all-wheel drive Polo GTX Turbo 400 bhp to 24 to 25 lakhs. Before, if you tell me that there's a Polo that could send an M2 to oblivion in a drag race, I'd ask you what you're smoking. That's how unbelievable this car is. It's truly a legend. You have to see it to believe it. Gazelle-like agility, mind-numbing speed and the confidence of traction to all four wheels is what makes this car a proper piece of art. I, for one, am in love. Do let us know what you think of the Nick Trans uh, Polo and if you had no budget on a project, what would be your weapon of choice? Do let us know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.